Hello everybody, I'm Don Counts and welcome into Fayetteville Public Utilities Channel 6. Today we're going to be talking about my good friend Jacob Painter and Four Miles Gone. Uh, they have a CD out and ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Jacob Painter. How you doing, brother? What you know, brother? Doing Good to right. see you. Oh, yes, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. Yeah. You know, uh, you're no stranger to Lincoln County, no stranger no. to Channel 6, and we appreciate all you've done. You First of all, let's tell everybody a little bit about uh, Jacob Painter. I know you, you are, you're an EMT, right? Yes, sir. I'm EMT at the Lincoln Medical Center, uh, soon to be paramedic, hopefully. I'm mm -hmm. going to go to school and get that done. So. Yeah, when you when you're in the emergency services, it's a a, a lot of training, con consistent uh, yes. uh, consistent training. Yes, sir. Very much, very much, lots of training. <laughs> you know, some of us call us uh, adrenaline junkies, but uh, you know, really and truly, it's re you just really want to help people. Exactly, exactly. You know, a lot of people, I, I get that sometimes, too, and I bet you do too, mm -hmm. Don. It's uh, oh, you're a trauma junkie, y'all. All you want to do is trauma. That's not true. That's okay, not true. not true at all. No. We're we're there to help, and uh, we we really like and enjoy helping people with other less than the trauma. So. Yeah, your adrenaline comes in the music that you play. Now yes, that, it does. There's some there's some <laughs> adrenaline there for sure, and uh, I know we we got to see you at the fair, and uh, we got some photographs of you at the fair, and uh, a great great show. And I Thank know you, you got to be proud. Oh yes, sir. We were we we're very proud. We we're, we were very excited to be able to, to land that gig and to open for Colt Ford and uh, uh, Peyton Taylor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just really excited, and uh, you could tell on stage that we was super, super excited. And uh, at, at some point in time, the uh, the microphone didn't want to work, but but I was so amped up, I think people heard me anyway. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I was at the concert, and I didn't realize you had a problem. I oh know, okay. I know one thing. Then we didn't have a problem. Yeah. Everything was fine. No, it was good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know one thing. You had a lot of people uh, yelling and screaming. Yeah. And hollering for you, and that's got to make you pump you up. Oh yeah. It's it's always it's always fun because. Because when you're up on stage and you're playing and you're singing, you can ask any singer and, and any entertainer that when the crowd is actually enjoying what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's just something that just builds inside of you. And mm -hmm. my family with the Fabulous, the Fabulous 50 Show family, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Mama Jane, she's always saying, she'll say, you know, if, if, the cra if you're enjoying what you're doing, then the crowd's going to enjoy what you're doing. And mm -hmm. so I get on stage and <laughs> I enjoy every minute of it. Well, at the <laughs> fair, you, you talk about you had some sound problems I didn't know, but that's probably one of the higher end stages that you've had to get to be on. Yeah, that is, that is, that's actually the biggest stage that I have played on. Oh. Uh, we, uh, we, well, we've played at the Dogwood Festival in Winchester, and that's kind of a big stage, oh. but, but this stage was ten times bigger. And so walking out on that stage, I mean, it's... It's like, you know, for that split second mm -hmm. when you're nobody, it's mm -hmm. like, huh, you made it, you're here. Yeah. Okay, so just enjoy it while you got it, you know. You've done so many things, and one of my favorite things you've done is probably one of the smallest things, but uh, Jacob played at Hamburger Down the Hill. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was I remember a, that. That's a great stage. It was a great stage. Actually, I saw Three Doors Down on that same stage. Oh, standing really? Exactly where you stand. <laughs> Me and you both stood. Cause I so was they stood, room. so Three Doors Down stood on that stage. Stood on that stage. Well, that's awesome. I didn't yeah. know that. I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> Yeah, they were really good too. That's and, great. That's and, awesome. Uh, so, in other words, they were they were proud that they were standing where you stood. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if I can get in touch with that singer, yeah, to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, they're they're needing some help. I hear you. But anyway, it's great. To, it's great that you've done so many things, and we and you and Gina have talked in the past about all the things you've done. But you might mention some of the things, those talent shows that you've done. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, God, let's see. Going back now, I'm gonna. She was telling about telling her age. I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell my age. Mm -hmm. uh, 23 years old. Uh, I, I won the 2009 Lincoln County Idol, which uh, m most people know that. A lot of people know that. Heard about it. Uh, 2011 Lincoln's Got Talent winner. Uh, a few songwriting contests here and there. Um, I've debuted some of my original stuff here uh, in uh, Nashville. Uh, we've played at the um, uh, Swing and Door Saloon at CMA Fest. We've done that. Uh, Bluebird Cafe, uh, the Back Alley Bar, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of little songwriting clubs in Nashville where I've been, and so uh, yeah, I've done a few things here and there, and kind of proud of the things, and and uh, that's pretty much it. So I love walking around Nashville. Oh, I do too. Man. Every time it's I awesome. go from one place to another, you know, it's it's amazing to hear uh, the artists play because I can appreciate that, even though I'm, mm -hmm. I don't play, but it's just, I, I know good music, and, right. and you see a lot of people like yourself who's trying to make yeah, it big, yeah. and every now and then you do see people who make it big, uh, you know, and so uh, so the opportunity's there, and, and it's really there for, for somebody like you. As we talk about uh, your album, let's talk about, uh, okay. uh, it's called uh, M4G? Mm -hmm. Four Miles Gone, that's what that, that's kind of our, uh, you know, 
little saying otherwise instead of saying four miles gone it's just I, m4g mm -hmm. <laughs> so and the album's called stay with it stay with it uh, with this the album was inspired by our um, uh, late great guitar player chad swafford uh, he always had a little saying that he stayed uh, he said all the time because he was a dirt dirt track racer he would always say you got to stay with it boy you got to stay with it <laughs> and that's kind of how he talked to and uh so tell about, tell about him what happened uh well chad uh chad was one of the original members of four miles gone he um uh, it was him, Travis Ashley, and Dwight Shockley. Uh, they were all the three people that, that kind of brought it from the ground up. And so uh, they had a bunch of singers before me, and they just never could get the right the right feel of what they wanted to do. And so they was always showing up late, never coming. Mm -hmm. uh, would call in and say, hey, I can't be at the show tonight, or try to leave the show at like 9 o'clock when they started at 8.30. So. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when I showed up, it was... Uh, 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 about a year and a half ago is when I started playing with him, and um, uh, last November, uh, this November would be a year, he uh, tragically passed away in a car accident in Hazel Green. Uh, he was actually going down to a place called Billy's Sports Bar, mm -hmm. and was trying to get us a little gig down there. And see, we're we're not you know big time or anything. Mm -hmm. we, we just like playing local venues, and and then mm -hmm. you know trying to make our way into Nashville. And so he was down there trying to get something going, and then um, was late coming home, come across a curve, and. Uh, met a car head on so uh yeah it was it, it was very tragic to us and uh, we we met up about two weeks after that after the funeral and things and uh, we was like well, what are we gonna do are we gonna keep going are we gonna just call it quits and 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 let it be or, or are we just gonna you know and uh by the grace of god <laughs> so to speak uh we had a guy that's been playing with us a lot and just kind of sitting in and and um listening to the way we do our songs and how we do it and 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 this kid he's full of energy mm -hmm. big time almost as much as i am if not more mm -hmm. and uh, his name is adam ferris and he had been playing he's been playing guitar ever since he was you know just same, just like us little and uh so he was like hey you know you know let's just play around and and, and do some stuff and we was like well adam how about you just how about you just join four miles gone and, and be a member of us and we can we can carry on chad's name through the music and do things that we've been wanting to do so mm -hmm. and he was more than willing to go on board with us very good so well uh the band is very very good i mean uh, the, the guitar players and and, and your drummer and uh, that's got to make you feel good to have somebody backing you up oh right yeah it, it's great and, and we're we're all i mean we're like a family it's uh you know we'll knock heads every now and then but then five minutes later hey buddy i love you all right, all right. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. Uh, we have a tradition now too that we do. Uh, it, it's it's not really a tradition. We we kind of did it afterwards. You know, we none of us really got to say goodbye to Chad mm -hmm. before he went away. And uh, so now, uh, before, after every practice, before every gig, we like to say a prayer, mm -hmm. and then we give each other hugs and tell each other bye and make sure that that we know that you know this may not this may be our last time playing together. So let's you know let's go out with a bang if we have to. So that's a good tradition. It is. Let's talk about your CD. Where did you uh, record this, and where did you get it produced at? Okay, uh, it was recorded and produced in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, at Tombstone Recording. That's uh, very close to uh, the Hundred Oak. Well, Vanderbilt Health now. It used to be a Hundred Oak Mall, mm -hmm. and so uh, a lot of things up there. Uh, a, a guy by the name of uh, Daniel Weenie was the uh, pr producer, sound producer, and the sound man that that mixed and recorded. Um, Art Ward. Art Ward was one of the producers on it. He uh, helped out a lot. Give us a lot of. Uh, info and advice on how to do it and how to cut because you know going into a studio if you've never been in there which we had never had and uh it's kind of intimidating it's mm -hmm. kind of scary because you're in a big place and you're really not knowing what you're doing just yet you, all, all you know is just get up there with your instrument and play mm -hmm. and there's a style and a technique and how to do it and he showed us how to do that so it's a little different deal than inside uh, out on stage yes it is very different and uh you know there it's in it's controlled and the sound isn't as it's blared out and it's not as loud and so it's sure. it's 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 kind of a mind thing sure. so you he got, helped us on it you got eight songs on here let's mm -hmm. uh let's talk a little bit about those okay what made you pick these particular ones Just uh well these are the the songs that you know i, I like to write stuff like any songwriter does mm -hmm. uh, i like to write stuff about my life and and the things that's influenced me and and uh tragedy and and things that that you know are personal to me and so that's why I wanted to put these songs on there and uh, you know the band didn't have any, any problem with it of, mm -hmm. of the of my song choice putting them on there and so we just kind of thought well uh, out of these eight out of all the 50 songs that I have he said these eight sound like they should be the the good for the first album so well let's talk about the first one called okay black lingerie <laughs> black lingerie uh, really isn't my song it's uh, Don Bell's song Don Bell is from Lincoln County oh. And uh, he he does a lot of things. He writes music, and 
uh, paints and breaks horses and uh, he's actually married to the uh, the granddaughter of the Hershey Chocolate Foundation wow. and so he's uh, <coughs> loaded <laughs> and uh, he uh, he uh, met, I met up with him through uh, my aunt my aunt Norma Norma Wright she uh, was real good friends with him and his family and my cousin Will Wright was real good friends with Don and so uh, they said here there's a pretty cool song why don't you listen to it and uh, I automatically liked it because it, it was black lingerie mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, well, I need to, I need to write or cut it and do something with it. And uh, the original version of Black Lingerie was kind of slowed down and mm -hmm. really just not as ampy as I am. And so when I wanted to sing it, I wanted to jump around and move around. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of sped it up and rearranged it just a little bit, but he didn't have a problem with it. So that's that song. <laughs> black Lingerie. Black Lingerie, man. Gotta love Black Lingerie. <laughs> I love all the things that you do and say. Sounding just a bit risky You wanna teach your man To beat it from your hand You buy some um, black lingerie Okay, looking at the second song Okay uh, That was Me and You That was Me and You uh, That was Me and You was wrote by a uh, <laughs> a girl here in Lincoln County uh, I'm not gonna say any names Cause uh you know. Are you not dating her anymore? No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, you know, kind of, you know how some how the young love is. I know. You know, it, it, it happens. And so it uh, wasn't my first heartbreak, but, you know, it's it's one of the many few. And so um, th there's a line in there that says, uh, wide open on a gravel road, souped up Chevy, it was off we go. And um, that uh, my dad's truck, we used to get in trouble uh, we used to take it off uh, through a cornfield and knock some corn over <laughs> and uh, so and that's what that song was wrote about is wrote about a girl who done me wrong and I was sad so I wrote a song about it <laughs> we was living life without a care what another we had that we couldn't share that was me and you baby that was me and you so that was me and you, and uh, maybe uh, when she hears it, uh, she's going to, and you make it big with it, she's going to be singing it. You can sing to her, How Do You Like Me Now? Yeah, I'll sing that one to her, because I love that song, too. <laughs> <laughs> Toby Keith wouldn't yeah. mind. Yeah, I don't think he'd mind. Nah, he would Not mind. Toby. All right, look at number three. Okay. And it is called uh, Sideways on a Dirt Road. Sideways on a Dirt Road. That is, <laughs> that's our um, outlaw kind of hipster song. That song, uh, me and Travis had got together and uh, wrote some things down with that, and uh Travis actually had some words, and they kind of was uh, a little bit, and so I decided I wanted to arrange some music to it, and then kind of add some more of my tone to it. And uh, basically, it talks about a a, a guy who's a, a whiskey runner, mm -hmm. so to speak, and he gets in his car and he starts getting sideways when the cops are chasing him, and so uh, that's pretty much that song. And uh, the you know it, it's funny these Georgia boys. There's a lot of there's a lot of Georgia men up in Nashville that write songs and do things and. We like to say this before every show when we when we sing this song. You know, Georgia ain't got nothing on Tennessee, and so us Tennessee boys are going to ride how we're country too. So. Sideways on a dirt road, all this country boys have been a little sideways. Mm -hmm. Oh, every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at number four, Need to Be Gone. Need to Be Gone. Uh, Need to Be Gone is another uh, heartbreak song that I wrote about a, a girl who done me wrong. Actually, uh, I can tell you the story behind that song, and uh, it kind of got me in trouble. And so after I got in trouble with it, uh, I wrote that song. Uh, girl was, I was supposed to have been talking to a girl, and uh, she was doing some things with another guy and I caught him doing it wow. and so uh, after I saw what was going on I got on uh, my mom used to have a Mustang mm -hmm. a black Mustang and so I was uh, going about 90 down 64 highway as fast as I could go was mad was upset and then a uh, cop pulled me over <laughs> he said uh, and fortunately I knew him and he was like uh, what are you doing going so fast you're gonna kill yourself and I was like well I've been having girl trouble and he's like well you know what here's a $80 ticket take that <laughs> and uh, I was like alright so then after that uh, I sent on the drive home I wrote a I wrote the chorus to that song driving fast down a lonesome highway so um, yeah anyway mm. let's talk about another song uh, Don if you I want thought to thought we were <laughs> going to play that one or we're not going to play that one yeah we'll play that one you want me to play that one yeah let's do it alright let's do that Too long in 
and his memories keep a piling on And everything that I hate about you Is everything that I love about you I don't know where I'll be going And all I know is I gotta get gone I'm Moving fast or moving slow I'm Making dust on an old dirt road Driving fast down a lonesome highway And I know if I had it my way She'd be sleeping in my arms tonight My heart's hurting and my head is spinning Don't know if I'm losing or winning So tired of being alone I just need to be gone and Sometimes this pain won't ease she don't know she's killing me And I hope she's happy now With the new love that she found No matter how fast I go These days are so dang long Without her here by my side But it was all just like that. And Driving fast down a lonesome highway And I know if I had it my way She'd be sleeping in my arms tonight My heart's hurting and my head is spinning Don't know if I'm losing or winning So tired of being wrong I just need to be gone and I'm no longer anybody's fool Some highway, and I know if I had it my way, she'd be sleeping in my arms tonight. My heart's hurting and my head is spinning. Don't know if I'm losing or winning. So tired of being wrong, I just need to be gone. I'm already, already gone. All right, brother, that was really, Appreciate really it. good. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, need to be gone. Need that, to be gone. That's got a little, uh, let's see, uh, who does that have? Who does that sound like? It sounded to me a little bit like uh, uh, Keith Urban. Yeah. A little Keith Urban mm -hmm. sound to it. Uh, that's a lot of... Uh, a lot of you know, I inspire my music is inspired by a lot of the the, the current day stuff. You know, mm -hmm. Keith Urban, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, Eric mm -hmm. Church, all that sure. stuff. So sure. Well, one thing that uh, I know you have here, and I don't know if you can do both, but you have your harmonica here. Or something. Oh, if yeah. anybody ever sees you out and about uh, in any playing anywhere, uh, let's let's hear you do something with all it. Right. I can. That, that'd be awesome. Uh, so is there a certain song you'd like to hear? Uh, not really. Just you whatever. Fan? Whatever you feel good about. Are you a fan of the Beatles? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Beatles. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. That's uh, I tell you something cool about this. This is actually the very first uh, harmonica that I have ever owned. When I was five years old, my dad bought me this at wow. the Cracker Barrel. Wow! And so this is what I've been playing on, and this is what I very first learned how to play the harmonica wow. with. Is that one right there? So. Yeah, that is a. Uh, my uh, blues, a blues band, band. yeah, blues one band. of the yeah. one of the little cheap ones, but, but it sounds just wow. as good. So. As much as you played it, it's wonder if you had more it out. I know it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, uh, play me something else right here while Gina's uh, got everything set up here. While you're just you going to play something, we're going to go through the last couple of songs here too. Okay. And uh, just give me give me a little something there you feel good about. Um, see, my mom likes Travis Tritt a lot, okay. and so I like Travis Tritt, and I'm all about the soulful love songs. All so. Right. baby knows me better than I do. Funny how a woman has that over me, man. Well, I can do anything with her here beside me. Leaning on her when I make my stand. Where would we be without the love of it? Standing behind a man even when he's wrong The true, pure, undying love of your own mom 
takes a man a fool to think he can make it. Daddy was a wild when he was younger. And everybody told my mama he'd be hard to tame. And full of himself, does serve to nobody. But you ought to see him come running when my mama calls his name. And where would we be without the love of a Standing behind. Makes a man a fool to think he can make it alone. Makes a man a fool to think he can make it alone. Oh, yeah. Jacob there you Rainer. go. <laughs> oh, you are the man. If I uh, could do that, I would quit my day job. Well, maybe I need to quit mine because this ain't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this, but anyway. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Really appreciate good. it. I appreciate you uh, playing for us. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you uh, bringing uh, Gene and I this CD. Uh, as we continue on down through here, let's talk a little bit about the Outlaw Rides again. That's uh, Rides Away. That's mm -hmm. number five. Mm -hmm. That, uh, I, you was mentioning Dwayne Clark earlier. That is a song, uh, you know, I work at the ambulance service mm -hmm. and uh, out at the South Station. Uh, it's out in Park City. That's one of the uh, ambulance services. Uh, me and him. If you don't know, if you don't know who Dwayne Clark is, Dwayne Clark can play a right-handed guitar. Yeah, like that. Upside down and can do all kind of crazy that, stuff on. Because he's left-handed. Yeah, he's left-handed, mm -hmm. and so he can. Uh, huh, I don't he's know how. Incredible. Incredible guitar mm -hmm. player. And so he was out there one day, and he was. I had my guitar. He had his, and I was just in awe. I didn't know how he was doing that. And I tried to do it, and I can't do it. And so. <laughs> Uh, he was like, hey, let's try to write a little song. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, and so we wrote this little Outlaw Rides Away song. And so he helped me on that song. And he's kind of helped me on a little bit of the songs, you know, just trying to get a right rhythm and mm -hmm. thing going. But that was the major one that he co-wrote. I'm going to give him credit because I know every time I see him, he's like, well, won't you ever give me credit for that stuff? And I'm like, <laughs> well, okay, Dwayne. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I guess he learned to play it upside I down. I guess so. It. He, uh, I, I know he told me the story about how, you know, growing up, his brothers, uh, he, his brothers played in a band, mm -hmm. uh, one of the hottest bands in Lincoln County sure. a long time ago. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he was like, well, I want to learn how to play. Well, all the right-handed guitars were around. And so he just decided, well, Let's learn this way, you know. And so, <laughs> and so he just that's, that's cool. he excelled with it. Yep, the outlaw rides away. He's got his reasons, and no one knows why. Oh, the outlaw, yeah, the outlaw rides away. Talk about the next song, uh, Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Darkness Falls was uh, written about a uh, uh, a murder suicide that happened here in Lincoln County. I was the uh, there was something that happened out in Park City a few months ago, and um, you know, like I was telling you, I like to write stuff about what I see and how I feel and and things. And I um, walked into it, and uh, it was my the very first time I'd ever seen anything like that, and uh, and stuff, and it's. You know, the, the feel of the song is kind of dark, and it's a dark feel to it, and uh, I mean, that's just the way I felt when I went into the house, and so mm -hmm. that's basically the story behind that song, and uh, there's a little, I told the guy that, that was editing it and uh, playing the electric guitar on it, I said, hey, uh, I, I, I have like a cool siren sound go into it, because, you know, the siren's going to the call, and mm -hmm. he said, oh, no problem, and just wow. put it right in there, so uh, it's kind of a, a nifty song, kind of a... Mm, kind of, you know, yep. risque kind of song, but it's it's a, it's a good song. Musicians so. are amazing people. They are. A little you know, different, but amazing. That's true. They say so, uh, songwriting is cheaper than therapy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right, so Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls.
let's look at number seven, Dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous is a song that uh, I was sitting up in my room one day and I was thinking about how, you know, uh, I've been doing a lot of things in music here in Lincoln County and, you know, sometimes when I get up on stage, I just feel, I just feel dangerous sometimes. And so I decided to put together a song about how I felt on stage and, and how everybody out in the crowd made me feel and, mm -hmm. you know, it talks about country girls and drinking and, and things. So that's uh, dangerous and it's a good little amped up song. And as the first song plays, I begin to think that I'm dangerous. There ain't no doubt I make the country girls scream and shout. Well, I'm dangerous. The party's right here. Drink up the band and pop another beer. Cause I'm dangerous. Well, when, when we're talking about dangerous there, as a cameraman, you never know. You're always in danger when Jacob's on yeah. stage because he's liable to jump out after you. So we usually have a little conversation beforehand. Yeah, say, I like, like to What are you going to do? Because, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to completely lose you, right. which I have in the past. I know it, and I apologize that's, for that. I apologize a, in the future, too. That's so. all right. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to do it again. <laughs> all right, and the last song on the CD is uh, Opportunities, and opportunities. that's what this is all about. Okay, uh, Opportunities is about, you know, going out and doing things that, that you, you, you know, Life, life is full of error and opportunities, you know, and that's the way, you know, that's the saying that my daddy always used to say. He said, son, you got to go out and, and do things. You, no matter what you do in life, there's going to be somebody ten times better. And so you have to strive every day to be the best you can be. And, and you know, the words of wisdom from my dad, I've learned a lot from him by saying all that. And, uh, and you know, at, at one point in time, I remember I never heard anybody say error and opportunities, you know. Mm -hmm. And one time I was in high school playing baseball, and I got into a tussle with a with a with a with a teammate, and mm -hmm. he says, "Why don't you jump, painter?" And I said, "Well, ain't nothing between us but air and opportunities." And, <laughs> and so uh, he kind of walked off, and I was like, "Huh, a song that right there'd be good, air and opportunities." Life ain't always what we want it to be. Nothing but air. Listen to the wind as it cries, cries, cries. If you plant your seed, yeah, your crops will rise. And that's basically what the song talks about, you know, doing things to your fullest and, and wanting to, if something happens, you know, Life's all about opportunities, man. Either you can grab them or you cannot grab them and let them pass by. So. You have a, a wise father, wise mother, a great family yes, supporting sir. you, and I know that makes you proud. And, and we appreciate you uh, showing us this album, uh, Four Miles Gone, it's called Stay With It. Uh, tell people where they can get this. You can get this. Uh, you can get some from me. I, I know there's been a lot of people on Facebook uh, message me and things, and if I hadn't got to you yet, I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Um, you can get them at www.4milesgone.com. We have a little web um, a web web address on the yeah. CD thing, and uh, also it's on Facebook. Uh, it's actually on iTunes as well. Uh, wow. You go on iTunes and look up Four Miles Gone, and the whole thing will come up. Wow! Uh, it's on Android Music, uh, Play Store, uh, anything with a smartphone. If you got it, you know, look it up, and it's there. So, Very good. Uh, you can do that. Uh, and again, if uh, you want a, you, if you want a hard copy, just get in touch with me. Get in touch with my mom at the courthouse. Uh, she'll be more than glad to get you one and, and uh, talk to me, and I'll get you one. So, Jacob Painter, ladies and gentlemen, won't you play us something on the way out? We appreciate you dropping yes, by sir. and uh, appreciate you uh, sharing us with this album, playing us a couple of songs. And uh, if you've got something there you can just uh, take us out with, I would appreciate it. Gina would appreciate it. Thank you for watching Fabulous Puppy Utilities Channel 6. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Painter. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Thank That's you. Great. Appreciate it.